Bars and breweries have been shut down now for almost two months and leaving many owners concerned about the livelihood of their business and their employees. And it's why an attorney is asking a judge to find Florida's executive order unconstitutional. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee has been covering the story since it first broke and shows us how today's court hearing played out. Following CDC guidelines, CUNY Brewing Company in Dunedin believes bars and breweries should have the opportunity to open up. There's no standing at a table, there's no standing at the bar, so you can do it, but you just have to make sure you have the right staff people. They already have after purchasing a $400 food license from the state. But John Dill, an attorney in Winter Park, doesn't think they should have to shell out hundreds of dollars just to open their doors. On June 26, the governor ordered bars and nightclubs closed after the state started seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases. Like the United States Supreme Court has denied injunction requests from churches then bars and pubs and nightclubs don't have a stool to stand on. For the first time today in front of a judge, counsel for the governor and the Department of Business and Professional Regulation explained why the governor felt those establishments are considered most risky for young people gathering close together. But Dill says the data is simply not there. The governor has advocated as of, you know, as of a few weeks ago to open up schools. But the issue is that the Congregation of young people is the source of the spread of COVID-19. Why is it that the schools are open? The judge says he will look at both arguments and come back with his findings, acknowledging the livelihood of some bars and breweries across the state rely on a quick decision. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.